Hello friends, welcome to the next tutorial of the series Data Analysis using Python. In this tutorial, we will be exploring the decision tree classifier, how to run a decision tree classifier. The data set that we are using in this tutorial is the same Iris data set. And first of all, for building a decision tree, let us just try to import the required library. So first of all, we will be importing the required libraries required libraries so now we will be importing the pandas now we will be importing pandas we will be importing the os function package and we will also be importing the sklearn we will be needing it sklearn dot cross dot cross we will go from from sklearn dot cross validation validation from sklearn dot cross validation Oops. Import train test split. Train test split and from SK learn SK SK learn dot tree import decision tree classifier and also we'll also be needing the the matrix so from sklearn import sorry import import matrix so so these are the libraries that we will be needing so let's move ahead and so for, let us load the data set load the data set we just need to change the working directory okay this is in tree we just need to change it to something here so first of all we will just set the current working directory and we will just set it to the desktop where we have the iris data set and users stop so now we will be loading the iris data set iris is equal to we're using the pandas command to read csv import pandas dot read read csv and we will be loading the iris dot csv so we have loaded the data set and now let us just try to print the iris dot d types that is the iris dot data types dot d types so we can see that it is very common data set and we have already worked a lot on this data set and there are four continuous variables and one categorical variable in this data set and so we will just try to to build a decision tree classifier and then we will try, then we will see that what is the accuracy obtained in that decision tree classifier so first of all let print the shape of the iris data set and shape so you can see that there are five variables and 149 entries in this data set so the next in the next step of building the decision tree we will just split the data set split the data set into training 
testing data set so now we will just define the feature columns the feature columns columns to be battle dot length battle dot length sample dot length and uh, battle dot width and the sample dot width so these are the feature columns that we will be using for building the decision tree we have considered all the continuous variables and these are the feature columns now we will just define the x data set as iris and we will just give the input parameter to the feature columns now we will just define the target variable and which is the labels or in this case we have it is to be species yes to be <coughs> species <coughs> so we have defined the x and y variable now we just need to <coughs> to test to 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 split the data into training and testing data set so let's move ahead and split the data into testing and training data set so we will be using the train test split train test split and with the following parameters x comma y and the test size test size to be 0.25 so we will be using the 25 percent data for test purposes and the 75 percent data for training purpose so let us split the data set so here we have split the data set and now let us just let's just build the model on the training data build the model on the training data so now to go ahead we need to instantiate the decision tree classifier so we will just load the decision tree classifier and we will just give the maximum depth we will assign an argument inside the decision tree classifier function with the maximum depth maximum depth maximum depth is equal to 5 that is that is we want we want to limit the depth of the tree just only to five levels we want to limit limit the depth of the tree to just five just five levels so now let's move ahead and, and fit the training data set to the classifier so classifier dot fit fit x train comma y train so now we will be just fitting the training data set to the decision tree classifier and we have just set the maximum depth to be 5 so now let us just train the classifier and we have just train it now we will try to predict the values we will try to predict the values predict 
the the values on the test data in the test data so predictions we will define the outcome to be predictions is equal to classifier dot predict and we will give the argument to be x test x test and we have just prediction the values now we will try to so now we will try to print the confusion matrix confusion matrix we'll try to print the confusion matrix and see what are the what is the confusion matrix and how it is doing or how what is the accuracy level of it so we will do the confusion matrix matrix confusion matrix is equal to sk learn sk learn learn dot dot matrix sk learn dot matrix dot confusion matrix dot confusion matrix dot confusion Using matrix, and we will just give the y test comma predictions. So predictions. So this is our scale learn. Okay. Let us see what we have defined it to be. So let us. Scale learn dot matrix import confusion matrix. So now we will just print the confusion matrix and uh, <coughs> something is happening over here, and uh, we'll just try to fix the code. So now let us just print the confusion matrix. The confusion matrix. The confusion matrix, and see how it looks like. So now you can see that it has predicted almost every thing. The you can see that the these are the true and right predictions, and all of these are zero, and only four outcomes are predicted. To be wrong, so we can say that the accuracy is quite good. And now let us also print the accuracy of this model. Print sk learn So let us see how we have imported the accuracy score. So we will see what matrix we have just so. We will just print the matrix dot accuracy score and the y test comma predictions comma predictions. So let us see what is the accuracy. So accuracy of this model is 0.89 percent, 0.89 percent. And let us check what was the accuracy accuracy of the the accuracy of the decision tree classifier is, and we can say that this is quite a good classifier. And uh, the decision tree classifier, we just we also just imposed various uh, restrictions on the decision tree classifier, like we we limit the number of levels, uh, number of depth levels to be uh, five, and we also just so we can say that it was quite a good classifier, and. Uh, this is the way to run a decision tree classifier and uh, I hope you understand from this video. 
and thanks for watching please subscribe